Hi there all, I've got something a little bit different for you today. When I said to my daughter, what would you like for Christmas? The answer that came back was a dragon's tail. So I scratched my head a little bit and thought about it and decided I'd make that wish come true and I would make her a dragon's tail as a surprise. So what I've done is I've put together a little tutorial that's slightly different from my normal practical making clothes, sewing techniques, videos, and I've actually done a step-by-step -step on how to make this lovely swishy dragon's tail. I had loads of fun making it, so I do hope you have fun watching it and maybe even having a go yourself. So this is a project that I've actually already started, so I am a couple of stages into it. The only things I have done so far is to make a template for the shape of a dragon's tail, which you can see here. I have cut it out in a cotton twill initially and joined two layers together just with the overlocker for the general shape of the tail. And now what you can see here is I have pinned on some black jersey, lycra jersey. I've stitched down one edge already to secure it to those two layers of cotton twill. And I am just about to stitch along the top edge and I've divided it into sections. So I have sections drawn out with chalk all the way along here and I'm going to be stitching up and down those as well. So there will be like a number of sections with the cotton twill in the center, the lycra layers on either side and I'm going to leave a little hole at the top of each of those little segments so that I can fill it with some toy stuffing. So I will end up with a jointed tail that has sections that are stitched together which is where it's going to move and then there's sections that are stuffed which are going to give it its shape and its sway from side to side. So I'm going to get those stitched together and then I'll see you again when it's time to stuff them. Okay, so I have got my segments of my tail all nicely stitched. They have all got a little hole through which I'll be able to put some stuffing in a minute. Uh, the excess jersey, I'm just going to trim that away now. Okay, so that's all the extra jersey trimmed away. So you can really see the shape of the tail now and it's got all these little segments that are going to swish around once they have been stuffed. So I'm just gonna give all the threads a little trim and then I'll start stuffing each of the little sections either side. I've got a layer of jersey on both sides so I'll be able to stuff both sides of the tail and we'll come back and have a look at it once it's all stuffed. So that's the base for our dragon tail all sorted. The next video is going to show you how the scales are going to be added and the decoration added and how I'm going to create that belt so that it can be worn. Okay, so last time we had got to the point where we had segments in our dragon's tail and they're all stuffed and they're moving really nicely. What we're doing this time is to sort out how the dragon's tail is actually going to be worn. So what I've done is I've taken two pieces of fabric and attached it on either side of the tail and then I've taken another piece of fabric so it's like a semicircle shape and I've attached that to the other side of those pieces. So I've basically sandwiched the tail in between the two and I have actually put some small channels just either side of the tail and I've put a little bit of dress boning into those little pockets. So it should help the tail stand up really nice and straight on the person's back when they're wearing it. 
So that's the little bit I did in between these videos. The next bit is to sort out so it has a strap and buckle so it can be attached and resized so anyone can wear the tail as well. So what I've done is I've cut out long strip of my cotton fabric. I've made it about twice the width of the buckle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press over one edge all the way along. Trying to keep it as nice and straight as possible. And then before I press the other side, I'm just going to offer it up to the buckle because I want to make sure that it runs through the little channels in the buckle. So I'll just fold it over, offer it up to see that it's the right size and I can see there it's going to run through the little channel in the buckle. And with that measurement in mind, I'm then going to press the rest of the strap. I'm doing it by eye, but every so often, I'll stop and check it against the little buckle to make sure it's still going to run through nicely. I'll get two of these done and then we'll take them over to the sewing machine to see about getting them attached. Okay, so I've secured each end of my buckle to my straps and now what I've done is I've pinned one side to one side of my dragon's tail waistband and I've pinned the other side over on the other side so once they're all stitched on nicely they'll be able to do up and undo and then be adjusted larger or smaller with this strap here. So I'll just get those sewn on and then that's our waistband finished and we can move on to thinking about the scales. So the strap is now on my little dragon's tail. I will see it's going to be a little bit tight on me, being as it's being made for a seven-year-old. Breathe in. There we go. So I have now got a dragon's tail that can swish as I walk. And I've just got to now think about the kind of scales I can put on the tail. Right, so it's the final day of creating my dragon's tail. Today is all about the scales and getting those attached. I've cut out a number of large scales that are gonna go over the top of the tail and a whole heap of smaller scales that are on long strips that are go going to go underneath those larger scales. I'm gonna join the strips into threes and twos um, the larger segments down at the bottom of the tail I'm going to start with and they're going to be wrapped in in the threes and then the small segments at the top they're going to get the twos. Um, so those are going to be wrapped around. I'm going to stitch across the top just to hold them nice and tight and then that join is going to be covered by the larger scales that run over the top of the tail. Um, I'm starting down at the bottom of the tail so I've made a cone for the end of the tail just to cover that and give it a nice sharp point and I've put a larger scale around that and then I'm going to gradually work up the segments, putting on the small scales, stitching them into place and then covering that join with the larger scale and stitching that one into place just at the join of the segment so it can still move really nicely but everything's neat and tidy and covered up. So as soon as those scales are on, the tail will be finished. So there we go, one swishy dragon's tail for hopefully a very happy and surprised little girl on Christmas morning. I hope you had fun watching the tutorial and seeing how it was all put together. And if you have a go yourself, I would love to hear about it and see how you get on. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.